Hey, it's better to start restart early. Also, quick note, by the way, uh, we just actually got a 5% off code for this game from GOG, my sponsor. So if you are picking this game up on GOG anyway, I got a 5% off code for you in chat. Um, save a few bucks. Get a thing of fries on me for lunch today. <laughs> uh, also, it helps support the channel, with we, which we appreciate. But um, yeah, there's the code in chat. Okay, so let's try again. <laughs> Egosoft says, it, way, it may well be that. We've not had this issue before. We're doing it live. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Doodly doo. Doodly doo doo. Don Ding Dong says, Ego, you must know that Ko finds all the bugs. Yes. Yes. If your if your game is bugged, I will find it. I will find the bugs. That is how this works. Is there a difference between ordering a ship and building a ship? No, not that we know of. Co the bug magnet. <laughs> oh, if you want a collector's edition percent off, uh, I think I have that as well. I think I do. Let me let me look here. Uh, yeah, I think I think the collector's edition is like seven percent off or something. There's the link in chat for the collector's edition. Oh nope, that just linked to a big random games thing. Okay, I'm not sure. Um. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Let's take a look here. First of all, here. Here. Okay. Still broken. All right, so what I'm going to try to do... Can I cancel this order from here? Here is where I'm building this ship. Um, I'm going to buy ships... Okay, I can't select the ship that I'm purchasing currently. Currently editing. No current selection. Okay, so it won't let me look at that particular build. Um, let me look here. Uh, here. 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 Oh, I can't. I can't look at this here either um, how do I how do I look at that work order is there like a is there like a work order thing somewhere uh, this is 1.0 now yeah Oh, someone said lower right of the screen. You missed it. When I'm looking at the ship, look in the bottom right corner. Well, I tried. I tried to click down here, the cancel order, but that doesn't. That didn't do anything. I don't think. Did it? No, no. That just. Th this is. This is on my ship. So it's. It's. It's canceling an order, here. This isn't the actual order for the new ship that I got. This is different. Um, okay, what about here? No, that just takes us back. Damn. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like there's probably no way to get to where I want to go because normally it's just supposed to work. So... I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Like, this guy here has just been parked for a long time now. Uh, let's give it a try with changing the logo. Yeah, sure. Let's try, let's try changing the logo. Sure. Well, I mean, we can try anything at this point. Here we go. I mean, I changed my name, too. 
I think the broken save killed all the shipyard people. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. We'll start a new game. Cool. Um... I have no problems with that. We haven't really done a lot yet, so it's okay. And we've learned so much since we played last. Val Selton's log, day one. I'm excited to get underway with this new ship. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do yet. Trading, exploring, am I brave enough to face combat? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be exciting. Here goes nothing. All right, so our goal is to, as quickly as possible, since we know that we'll, well, I hope we'll get that mission that we got again, um, we'll just go ahead and like try to replace our ship relatively early, and that way we can kind of confirm that things are working as they should. I'm kind of glad to do this anyway, because the, we, we, we learned so much in our first game that I think uh, restarting is going to be a lot of fun. Could you send us the save file a bit later? Uh, yeah, sure. Be happy to. Oh, I hope I didn't just save over it. Well, I mean, the whole save file is probably messed up, so <laughs> sure, it should be fine. I know we did a hard save earlier. Okay, so this is X4. Um, we are going to go ahead. We've just started a new game for those just tuning in. I was having some issues with shipyards earlier, and I'm hoping that this will clean up the issue. So first of all, let's go in and set some quick stuff for our ship. We've got 10,000 credits, an elite vanguard. We're going to go in and change our name. Set our name to Mr. Go Connage. Now, I'm 99% sure what we ran into was not logo related, so I'm going to put my logo back on. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump out. We're going to do some exploring because we got a lot of this map to start looking at. And uh, did things change? No, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, we got a lot to do. Let's get started. So first, we'll uh, scan the station here. See if we can find some fun stuff. Maybe we can. Mm hmm. Is this single or multiplayer? This is single. The stations, uh, the stations in the universe all shuffled in place differently. The universes change each start. Ah, cool. That explains that. Oh, well, look at that. That was quick. Watch this be that same dude. So, as many of you are just joining us, just to let you know, what we did is went into scan mode with Shift F2. That was the purple border. And then we found that little shiny object and got near it. And we uh, got this transmission that we're doing now, which starts a quest. Hmm. What should I call them? I suppose captors is quite apt. Employers? They let me work on my own projects some days, you see. Do you need help? Ah, yes. You see, I'm in a spot of bother. I'm in the middle of some important scientific research, which I'm unable to pursue personally from my current location. I'm looking for an assistant to aid me. What do you need? I'll send the task to your ship computer. This is rather exciting. So he wants us to do some scanning, some basic kind of uh, beginning stuff. I have managed to place the device on a nearby docking area. You should be getting the coordinates now. Now, 
What's awesome about getting this mission early is he is actually going to task us with buying a ship in this mission. So we'll be able to very quickly find out uh, what's going on and if everything's okay with this save. So this worked out swimmingly. Just swimmingly. That's a cool looking ship right there. Mm -hmm. Boop. Oh, it's on the other side. How rude. All right, let's go. Pew! Wait, how do I even get to the other side? Where, where does this go? Oh, cool. Well, all right. No. I guess these are where the large ships land. Do we have a jetpack? Not yet. We do have a jetpack for space, but a little bit different. Yeah, quick reminder, we have a 5% off code for anyone that wants to check it out. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Mm -mm. Code.tv slash x4. Nice. All right. Uh, uh oh. Nope. There we go. You can use the other lifts for fast travel. The other. Uh, yeah, but the, it, can you fast travel to the other bays? I thought you could only fast travel to, like the manager's office and stuff like that. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Tango. It five percent's really not much. It's basically saving you like tax. But I mean, hey, every dollar counts, right? <laughs> Am I excited about the new Bethesda game? I am very excited about the new Bethesda game. There are people that worked on Fallout 1 and 2 that are working on this new Bethesda game, whatever it is. I'm very excited. Yes. For those that don't know, Fallout 1 and 2 are... Very good. I see you have found the device. This will allow me to oh, monitor your activity and perform experiments remotely. Please keep it safe. Cool. Oh my. It seems your boss is elevated. You must be very excited to take part in this expedition. I'm glad. Oh, you have no idea. So, shall we begin? I will attempt to direct you in the best way possible. Please be patient with me. I am called Mo with the $10 tip. Thank you for the $10 tip I've to me and the $10 tip to the mods. Thanks, man. Allow me to introduce myself. Hi, bud. My name is Bozo Ta, and it is a pleasure. I do wish it were in person. But my current situation is quite precarious. You must be quite curious on what a lonely old boron is trying to achieve. There are still so many mysteries and unanswered questions. Are spacefly sentient? Where are the lost boron systems? Is faster than light telepathy possible? It is our task to push the physics of this universe to the breaking point and see if it answers any of those questions. My current employers only seem happy when my research results in novel weapon modifications. Very curious people, those split. Oh, Moonbaka, there's actually people walking around the space soon. stations. My tentacles mm -hmm. grow weak. Yeah, there's actually people that walk around the space stations. Not only that, but they all have their own individual stats. I do wonder how and you can hire them. Faring. It has been such a long time since we have had news of it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Is this a really slow ship you start in? No, not really. It's, it's well, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't seem too slow. Um, this game has always been about, like, big, grand-scale systems and travel, so this is pretty standard. Now, later in the game, we're going to get something potentially called a SETA device, which is from old uh, X3 games, which is a time dilation device, so it should make traveling a lot quicker. Could you please try using 
using the long range scanner to search for an anomaly in this facility. Oh, by the way, Egosoft official, quick, quick suggestion. When you're in long range scanner mode and you hold down R, you're supposed to hold it down for three seconds and then let it go. Not all of us have the best hearing to hear that little sound. It would really help if there was a bar on the screen that filled up so we could see when we're supposed to release it. Because a lot of times I'll do it way too early. In which case you hear that and nothing happens or way too late. So it might be kind of nice if maybe there was a bar down here that just went like bloop, like filled up so we could see it too. Just a quick suggestion. See, like I just messed that up. Oh! Uh oh. Okay, hold on. Well, first of all, we gotta do this guy's quest. Don't let me forget that. The area I have stated. I suggest you use the long range scanner to help find it. There we go. I think this is way outside of the range. Yeah, this is different than what we're trying to find. So, we didn't have to do this last time. Um. Oh. There it is. There we go. If reports are to be believed, these anomalies are tears, which may lead to other areas of space, much like the jump gates. I suggest you mark the location of the anomaly on your map. So, how adventurous do you feel today? Thanks to my research, I do have a fair idea of where you may end up. Of course, the quickest way to confirm my theory is to put it into practice. I'm gonna drop a nav beacon here this time. Cool. It'd be kind of fun if we could name nav beacons. Can we do that? Can I rename you? I can! Apparently I don't know how to spell anomaly. It's okay though, whatever. Yeah, how cool. Great. Awesome. Here we go, boys. Entering system. Grand exchange. Can you hear me? It took a moment to realign the frequency. Anomaly. It's just as I thought. Anomaly, moly, moly. The anomaly and emerged in a distant region. Your location is actually of great interest to me. Over the years, I have managed to pull sensor logs from passing ships to help further my work. I highlighted this as a prime location for my research, should I ever get the chance. While the previous anomaly is interesting, my findings point to something else here, which I expect will lead to a groundbreaking discovery. Allow me to guide you to a particular area. Is there fishing in this game? Yes. New Boy Gaming says, Koso, serious. Dude, I'm I'm loving this game so far. Hey, Blinken says, the voice acting is awful. Dude, dude. Who cares? <laughs> this game ain't about the voice acting, dude. <laughs> I think it's fine, by the way. Disengage. I am currently evaluating what equipment we will need to make the most of this location. Space here is wounded, with a scar in its fabric which seems to have healed multiple times. There is no record of any abnormal activity at these sites. To everyone else, 
This is simply an empty area of space. In my search for signals from long lost Boron, I have detected multiple scars in space which continue to spew a multitude of particles and radiation. That engine, though. In a bustling sector such as this, it would only be seen as background noise. However, some of the noise seems to have artificial form. We are going to tear this scar wide open and peer inside. Of course, the universe is a fickle thing. One miscalculation, and we may well destroy the whole system. Ha! Such stakes make this all the more exciting. Before we get started, allow me to reimburse you for your help so far. I do hope the Split don't mind me using their credit account to help fund our venture. Thanks, buddy. Now, the experiment. You will first need to place a satellite around this area in order for us to better understand its nature and how best to provoke the anomaly. I suggest you also deploy a resource probe so that we can see how the anomaly has affected yeah, I'm gonna the local I'm going to make sure to do this in order, you just in case. You should be able to acquire these deployable items from stations which offer upgrades. I know of such a station near your location. I will add the information to your map. Great. Okay. So first we need to deploy one satellite. There's that. Ah, good work. I'm receiving a much now the resource clearer probe. signal from the tear. Hey, Sir Tear. Almost immediately, I can see that there are far more gravimetric shears here compared to any other anomaly ever documented. That indicates mass. But of what? This shows some similarities with a jump gate event horizon. But there is something else. Could it be a temporal distortion? Perhaps dimensional? Very interesting. Would you please deploy a resource probe in this specified area? I'm curious of this environment. You will now be able to see the yields of the resources in the area. Ah, the Should miracle of life! As for our research, it seems that nearby objects are covered in exotic particles. Possibly spewed from the anomaly. I hate to be a bother, but I have an idea on how to proceed. We will nice. need a ship to be flown to a very precise location near the anomaly. If we fit the ship with the right equipment, we may be able to open the tail wider and have a better idea of what is on the other side. I love how this guy's like This will likely end up in the ship's destruction, so I will help cover the expenses of acquiring a new ship for the task. Thanks, bud. I love how he wants to load up a ship with antimatter and then jam it into a space-time anomaly just to see what happens! Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this game is available on Steam and GOG. Um, if you want to help support the channel and get 5% off, you can go to co.tv slash x4. We have a 5% off code for you. And, uh, yeah. Antimatter cells are usually found as for sale at the following stations. Antimatter Cell Factory or Antimatter Complex. The nearest factory is TEL Antimatter Cell Factory 1 in Path to Profit. Okay. So Path to Profit is where we need to go. Interesting. But didn't he give us a Talati? We need to go to the shipyard first to make sure that we're working okay. Yeah, here we go. All right, we're going to go to the wharf. Let's get going. And this is going to be big. This, this, what should happen... Uh, for those for those who don't know, first of all, if you're just tuning in or you're watching this playthrough on YouTube, hi, hope you guys are having fun. My name is Ko, nice to meet you. Uh, second of all, what happened was um, Egosoft, the creators of this game, were cool enough to give me an early copy, but unfortunately, in rolling over from the early copy to the live copy, it looks like for some reason my shipyard stalled out and wouldn't build ships. So I've since re-rolled, which is one of the reasons I actually seem like I know what I'm doing a little bit this run. Um, and we're going in right now to test and make sure that our shipyards are working perfectly. If they are, then we're going to go ahead and basically just continue the playthrough from here. Um, so the hope right now is that we're going to go to the shipyard. It's going to have all the resources we need. And the second we purchase that ship, we should see a timer start going down. And at that point, we can really start, well, playing the game. Ooh, what's this guy? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Screw that guy. Clear. <laughs> Is a 5% off Steam or GOG? It my sponsor GOG. 
Yeah. Four. If you're getting the the five percent off code, that's on uh, that's going through my link. Code.tv slash x4. When am I gonna end the stream today? I am skipping lunch today. I'm I'm skipping lunch. We're gonna play this game for like the next five hours. And uh, then at the very end of the stream, we're gonna switch over to Battletech, which is another game I've really been enjoying. And we're gonna check out the Flashpoint DLC. See how that is. And then tomorrow, I'm probably gonna start with X4, and I might just go X4 all day tomorrow if I'm having fun today. Uh, and it's definitely looking like I am. Egosoft official just said, oh no. Oh God, what happened? <laughs> is, is this when Egosoft official is like, Apparently there's a bug with uh, with shipyards and, and wharfs. They just don't build right now. <laughs> uh, I hope that's not the case. I do have to admit, it's pretty funny because that's all he said in chat. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, he was talking about the Karak that we saw. Okay. <laughs> Much better. Okay. Yeah, dude, I do not mess with those guys. Is this one too? Yeah, no, we don't mess with these dudes. These dudes are brutal. They have really... If it's anything like X3, they're they're really brutal. They break up into little ships. They have really powerful lasers. Um, oh, shit. Is he going for us? Oh, oh, no. Who's he going for? Looks like he's going this way. No, I think I think we got away. I think we're okay. Oh shit. Did we? This guy is coming for us. Oh, it's a Xenon. It's a Model M. So this is the dude going after us right now. Ooh, look at that. Cool looking ship though, huh? We're out of there, though. I don't think he can keep up with us. Yeah, he's already gone. Oh, no, no, no. Marinzek says they didn't really change the Xenon or, uh, or CAC models. Uh, and, and that's good. I think that's great. Yeah. They actually kept a lot of the ships looking similar, which is really good because it kind of gives the, the universe some consistency, which I really like. Oh, dude, we can board and take other ships. Yep, absolutely. We absolutely can. In fact, apparently you can send out like boarding parties of, with marines and, and stuff. Uh-oh. BAM! <laughs> ah, good old X-Series. It wouldn't be an X-Series if you weren't slamming into asteroids. Autopilot disengaged. Yeah, X4 is out right now on Steam and GOG. It came out like hours ago. Uh, pretty awesome. Oh, I should let you guys know that code that I've been telling you about, the 5% off, is 48 hours only. Entering system so if you want to save tax, code.tv slash X4. All right, here we go. We're going to go right over here. And I think we can autopilot once we're looking at it. Autopilot engaged. Beautiful. We'll also go ahead and drop a satellite when we get here as well. There's the shipyard on the left there, but we're not worried about that right now. It's going to be so nice when we get a SETA. Is it SETI or SETA? It's SETA, right? S-E-T-A? I'm pretty sure it's SETA. Yeah. Hey, Katana Senpai. Good to see you, bud. Only 5% tax where you live? Well, I yeah, I, sh I probably shouldn't say my 5% off code will save you tax. My 5% off code may get you an, uh, some fries when you get lunch today. Just say it's from me. Yeah. Is there a huge way today? Yes. At co.tv slash huge way. Mm -hmm. Singularity Engine Time Accelerator. S-E-T-A. Cool. I like it. Hey, Norvis. How you doing today, man? Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put it on my tab. That's right. Put it on my tab. Yeah, I still don't know what these purple and red things mean. I think they mean ter they're territorial markers, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. 
Maybe it's like Talati space and red is Xenon and blue is... I mean, there's, there's blue too, right? Maybe blue is Argon. I don't know. Oh, resources. It's resources? Autopilot disengaged. Oh, yeah. He, he goes out to Fitchell. They're different resources. Okay. Okay, cool. So that makes that super easy. That's nice. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 